Days of winds uh, has a potential right now, though, cause some a really mm -hmm. major damage uh, around the valley. First responders, they are warning of the possibility of some downed power trees, some lines coming down as well, and some power outages, right? Yeah, it could be very dangerous for a lot of us here. So we have Kelsey McFarlane live with us to explain a little more about how we can prepare for these strong wind gusts. Good morning to you both. We've seen this before. Strong winds in the Vegas Valley leading to scenes like this one, a trampoline flying across a neighborhood and into a power line. So now this morning, that's the time to act to make sure any of your outdoor items don't become airborne. And that can mean using sandbags, staking or tying items to the ground. I talked with Las Vegas Fire and Rescue Public Information Officer Tim Szymanski. He says his department goes on a lot of electrical related calls on high wind days like today. He says we should be prepared for power outages by keeping a flashlight handy and making sure your phone stays charged in case you need to make emergency calls. And these weather conditions can also lead to dense dust blowing across our roadway or traffic light outages. So he suggests using extra caution behind the wheel. Make sure you slow down considerably because uh, what scared me one time when I was responding on a call was a tree fell in front of me and you can't see that until you're on top of it. And if you're going at a good clip, you'll hit it and you'll have extreme damage to your vehicle. And take a look at the scene just from last year. If you get caught in a dust storm like this while you're driving, officials say to pull over, turn off your lights, set your emergency brake and take your foot off the brake pedal. That's to avoid drivers behind you using your car lights as a guide and potentially hitting you. And if you see a downed power line, don't touch it and call 911, then call Envy Energy to report it. And if you drive over a downed power line on accident, it's best to stay inside your call and call for help. And if you have to exit the vehicle. Be careful not to touch the car again once you have jumped out. Now we have meteorologist Justin Bruce joining us to explain which areas will see the strongest winds. And Justin, I had some people tweeting me uh, on online asking, is today a good day to keep that trash can out overnight? I'm going to guess you have the answer for us. If it's trash day in your part of town uh, today, once those cans are emptied, uh, they're going to be blowing around big time. We've got significant wind, the strongest wind we've seen so far this spring season.